next topic under our discussion is shapes of orbitals if you go for shapes of orbitals as you know that when you go for types of orbitals we have s orbital p orbital d orbital and f orbital so if you go for uh, s orbital if you go for s orbital s orbital an s orbital has spherical shape it has spherical shape spherical shape with the uniform distribution of electron cloud uniform distribution of electron cloud and the sh shape of that orbital is given by this orbital because it is spherical in shape you find the electron density or the electron cloud is distributed uniformly electron cloud is uniform and uh, you find that the electron cloud distribution is uniform that's what i'm saying x axis in the x axis you find the same amount of same volume of the electron cloud you notice in the x axis same volume of the electron cloud you notice in y axis and the same volume of the electron cloud density you notice even in the z axis so therefore it is very clearly visible that it is because of the uniform plane of symmetry we cannot differentiate the s orbital as sx axis or sy axis or sz axis because the electron density is distributed uniformly throughout the volume of the that is orbital spherical shape orbital so that's why this this is called uniform distribution of electron density that is why we can say that it is spherical in shape then next go for p orbital actually a p sub level a p sub level has three p orbitals one is px py and pz when you go for px py and pz what do you mean by this is that is for example i'm taking here that is if i am noticing this is the shape of px orbital this is the shape of px orbital x axis this is y axis and this is z axis this is px orbital you are finding that in the px orbital of course the shape of p orbital is a dumbbell shape dumbbell actually so we call it as dumbbell shape if you take dumbbell shape this dumbbell is made up of two lobes this these lobes are directing themselves in a particular axis if you carefully observe the observe the px orbital you are finding that electron density alignment is taking place only in the x axis but the electron density is not taking place there is no electron density available in the y axis and z axis in the case of px orbital so the plane in which there is no electron density the plane in a given orbital where there is no electron density is called nodal plane plane in an orbital plane in an orbital with the zero electron density is called nodal plane so we are finding nodal planes in this px orbital we are finding nodal planes in z axis we are finding a nodal plane and in y axis also we are finding a nodal plane because here there is no electron density and here also there is no electron density in y axis there is no electron density in z axis also there is no electron density but however the electron density is there in the x axis it is along with the two lobes the two lobes joins together to form a dumbbell and this dumbbell is oriented along the x axis and this is the shape of the px orbital go for py orbital if you go for py orbital again if you take here that is this is py orbital you can see the electron density in y axis
y-axis, x-axis, and this is z-axis. This is py orbital. What you are noticing here is the electron density is aligning itself. The two lobes are aligning itself in the y axis. So, you are finding the electron density only in the y axis, but you are not finding electron density in the x axis as well as z axis. So, nodal planes are obtained in the x axis and z axis in the case of py orbital, and nodal planes are obtained in the case of y axis and z axis in the case of px orbital. Likewise, if you go for that is pz orbital if you go for pz orbital if you go for pz orbital if you go for pz orbital this is x axis and this is y axis and this is z axis z axis This is PZ orbital. This is PZ or this is Z axis. This is X axis and this is Y axis. This is PZ orbital. You are finding that the electron density is in the Z axis, and uh, electron density is absent in the case of X axis as well as Y axis. So therefore, you are finding the nodal plane in X axis and Y axis in the case of PZ orbital. You are finding the nodal plane in z axis and x axis in the case of py orbital, and you are finding the nodal plane in z axis and y axis in the case of px orbital. So, therefore, these are the three different dumbbell shaped structures or shapes of the p orbital. The next we will go for that is d sub level. d sub level is having five orbitals altogether dx phi d y z d z x and d x square minus y square and d z square the shape of the orbital is double dumbbell the shape of the orbital is double dumbbell here the shape of the orbital is dumbbell p orbital here the shape of the orbital is spherical so i am going to give you a few diagrams here for all these orbitals actually. So, here what we are noticing here is in particularly in the case of the d orbitals before going to the d orbitals we know we know very well that every atom is made up of a main energy level that main energy level is made up of the sub level. When you say sub level here we are speaking about the d sub level the d sub level is having 5 uh, orbitals sub orbitals that sub orbitals we are calling it as d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square and d z square and here the shape of the d orbital is given by double dumbbell shape which you can see what do you mean by double dumbbell here the double dumbbell uh, gives us the impression that if you take four lobes two lobes will make one dumbbell so another two lobes will give you another dumbbell so you are finding that four lobes is giving a double dumbbell shape for a given orbital. So, because the because you are finding that these d orbitals because they are having this d sub level because they are having five orbitals in the case of dxy what you are noticing is you can see that the dxy orbital is having uh, three axes one x axis one y axis and one z axis you can see the electron density the electron density in the first dumbbell is along with the x axis you can see the electron density of the x axis is across that means the lobes are across the x axis and the electron density is also across and uh, for y axis also you can see the electron density is across the y axis of the two lobes ok that is you can see the two lobes here and where the electron density is not available the electron density is not possible in the case of the z axis that is because it is a double dumbbell we can say that the electron density is 0 with respect to z and y electron density is 0 and the electron density is also 0 with respect to z and x. So, electron when the electron density is 0 in y z and z x that means the nodal plane in the case of d x y orbital is available in the plane of z x and z y. But however, the electron density in the d x y orbital is across the x axis and across the y axis. 
go for the same understanding in the case of dyz orbital also again pyz orbital is double dumbbell we can see that the electron density is across the y axis and across the z axis from the diagram it is very clear and where the electron density is not available the electron density is not available with the zx plane and uh, yz plane you find that there is no electron density so the nodal plane is obtained in zx and the xy plane of dyz orbital if you go for dzx you can see that the electron density is across the z axis and across the x axis from the diagram and the electron density is completely not available in the case of y axis if it is not available in the case of y axis that means the nodal planes where the electron density is zero you are able to observe in uh, xy and uh, yz plane if you go for dx square minus y square here the electron density is along with the x axis and along with the y axis here if you take that is the axis if you take the axis here this is x axis and this is y axis and this is z axis this is zx okay so if you come here dx square minus y square here this is x axis and this is y axis and this is z axis so electron density is very rich in the case of the x axis and electron density is very rich in the case of y axis that's why here the orbital is dx square minus y square and here this is a color like thing this is a color dz square and it has two lobes the two lobes are the electron density is across the z axis the two lobes in the dz square orbital are separated by color and it is a single lobe single double lobe which gives the dumbbell shaped structure that is dz square only dz square is having the dumbbell shape like structure but remaining all four orbitals of the d orbital they are double dumbbell in their shape and this gives us the complete information about the shapes of orbitals